What's in store for today? The last shave of the Lather Games June 2019. 30 shaves, 30 razors, 30 different soaps. Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina on today, the last day of June and the last day of the Ladder Games. As I said in the intro, that's 30 days, 30 different theme days, 30 different razors, 30 different soaps, and I think I've met the requirements for every themed day. There were some of the requirements for the Ladder Games I'm sure I didn't meet. There's no way I can score 100 points for that, but I may, if lucky, be in the low 70s which means I probably won't place it all, but it doesn't matter. I've had an amazingly fun time doing this. Every day something different and try to hit a theme has been just so much fun. Okay, today, today is the dirty shave, the dirty vetiver. So today I'm going to be using, and you'll just have to trust me, it is the dark vetiver from Holy Cow that was sent on by another person on Reddit. Thank you so much for providing the sample. I really appreciate that. The brush for today is going to be just because I just enjoy using it so much it's going to be the Dogwood Handcrafts Handle the B7 Declaration Grooming Hand Tied Knot. We're going to come full circle because the first day of the Lather Games June 1st was also Maggard Monday I believe and so I'm going to be using the Maggard B3 head with the Persona 74 blade. I think this is shave number 48 on the Icon Bulldog Handle. And we're going to close out because it is dirty vetiver. So I've got vetiver in the soap and then dirty on the night music. This is going to be the dirty, dirty ending of this shave. So I'm going to wet my face again and I'm going to go through as I build up the lather. I'll talk through again what I use during the course of the week for the other themed days. This may well be a two pass shave because I shaved pretty late yesterday. Now, the other thing to address is a person on YouTube asked, um, about if I was doing something about coloring my hair. Now, my hair normally when it gets wet anyway, you can't see the gray in it as much because I actually am really quite gray. You can see here it's normally, well, it's very gray. But I have switched to using a solid conditioner bar from the Sudsy Soapery and it has made a immediate and a very kind of dramatic difference in the quality and feel of my hair. It, it combs much more easily. It holds its shape much more easily. It feels soft and smooth and stays soft and smooth for a long time. I'm using their shampoo bar, but I'm not using that every day. I am conditioning lightly some days, a bit more heavily others, and it has had an amazing effect on my hair, and I'm incredibly happy with that product. I've only used it for, I think, just over a week now, but there is an immediate noticeable difference in the quality of my hair. So if my hair looks better, it's thanks to that that's conditioner. All right, let's get the brush wet. I'm gonna start lathering this up, and then, I don't know if this is the vegan or the, I'm not sure which version of the base this is. I'm gonna go into it blind because I actually don't really care. I know it's gonna be good either way. Slightly wet brush. I'm gonna add some more water to that in just a moment. I'll press the whole sample in there because I'm just living large today. Yeah, let's add a bit more water to that. That sounds pretty good already. I know that sounds crazy, but it does actually sound good. Oh, that's oh, that's a that's a very very nice scent. Not very strong. A little more subtle, maybe. All right. Okay. Wow. There is already so much soap in the brush. I'm gonna load even more though. I have literally, literally nothing to lose. Okay, let's start with that. If we need to load more, I have plenty more where that came from. All right, wet my face again. Let's start building the lather and then I will run through the other theme days for this week. I have the notes carefully propped in the bathroom mirror. So if all goes well, I can just read them off. Got to give you a one, two, three rundown of what we did. All right, so, well, that's gonna need a bit more water. In fact, I'm going to dip the tips of the brush and I'm gonna load a little more soap with a bit more water in it to begin with. 
and then add a touch more water on top of that. All right, so for Monday, there is also an active IRC channel. And Monday was the chat's choice, and that was declaration grooming. So I used the yuzu, rose, and patchouli, both for the soap and for the um, the Chateau Lux aftershave salve, which I really like a lot. You need so little of it and just really work it in, and I just find that as a, as a post-shave, something about the creaminess and the denseness and the longevity of that post-shave balm or salve really, really works for me. All right, a touch more water. There we go. There's so much lather in the bottom of this brush. There we go, man. Beautiful. I mean, just look at the sheen on that. Uh, let's see. For Monday, what did I use? Oh, the Schick Injector and the Rodneep Lignum Vitae Bar. So that was Monday. Tuesday was Christmas in July, but in June. And that theme was something that had to be kind of a Christmassy, wintry themed soap somehow. So I used the Barrister and Matt and a sample of First Snow, which is fur with a touch of leather in it. I get a very strong scent of fur out of that. The leather is a kind of a, a clear undertone for me. I use the Fine Aluminum Slant and the Yaki, the High Mountain Badger. All right, let's get going on this. Yeah, so the, v, the V3 from Maggard, this is a Edwin Jagger D89 style head. It's not the same geometry. I find it a little less comfortable than the uh, Edwin Jagger. But excellent, excellent value for the money especially given the range of um, handle options that they offer. Persona Blade is still working, but it really does not feel all like it did. Definitely starting to feel a little bit rough as opposed to smooth-ish. All right, let's continue with Wednesday, People's Choice. This is the most popular vendor or artisan on the wet shaving subreddit. And that's based entirely on the number of times people post a shave of the day using that vendor soaps. And that is Barrister and Man still an extremely popular choice on that, on that subreddit and for very good reason. I went for the Fern shave soap and the aftershave splash. That is the reserve base. Now, here's the thing. I am positive now that I like the Glissant base better than the reserve base. The reserve base is very good. And the fact that I like one better than the other is not meant to in any way diminish the quality of the other. The reserve base is still very, very good. But I think I would also choose the Sudsy Soap Tallow formula over the reserve. It just worked better for me. It just lathered more quickly and a bit more easily. Or just sort of like the denseness and the creaminess of that lather, and that is that's a personal preference, but that's really what's at play here. It's you know what works for you, and what you like, and the beautiful thing, as I always say, is that thank goodness you have all these different choices. There's really no need to fight over the things that people enjoy. The fact that I enjoy something more than you do is no demerit to the things that you like, it's just a difference of opinion. De gustibus non disputandum. Anyway, pass number two are going to be across the grain. Okay, where do we leave off? Ah, for Wednesday, uh, I used the Fate Grande and the Rodney Mini Bar. Now, obviously, I've been repeating brushes because I don't have 30 brushes. I definitely have more than 30 razors. Embarrassing. Okay, Thursday, Vegan Day. Now, this, this turned out really well because I've actually purchased a set of the Southern Witchcraft's Tres Matres, which is kind of a floral 
petrichor, you know, the way that the ground smells after it rains. Lovely, lovely scent. And I'm going to be doing a full length video review of that. That's coming up. That's one of the soaps that I had purchased during the uh, Maggard Razors meetup. I purchased them remotely thanks to a in store secret shopper. So that aftershave, by the way, is an interesting take on what they're offering. I'll get into that when I do the full length video, but the soap performance was fantastic. I don't I think I've used that base. I just don't remember it being quite that good. It was incredibly rich, really creamy, excellent slickness, very good post shave, and the scent, I thought the scent was fantastic. What I used with that was the Icon X3 Slant and the Yaki Monster Synthetic. Yeah, this blade does not feel at all like it once did. It is a shadow of its former self. However, nah, I'm getting an okay shave. Not a great shave like I was, but an okay shave. Oh, I'm gonna do a mustache. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, right here is where you can really feel yeah, pretty rough. All right, let's lather up a little bit more. We'll do a very gentle, very gentle against the grain. Just a light dancing over the skin. All right, so Thursday, vegan day, Friday. God, just sheer poetry. Just wait till you listen to this. This alliteration, the sheer power of the repeated first letter. Friday was Fougère Friday. So you can take a guess at what the theme was, obviously. Fougère. Now, I happen to have, by sheer luck, and thanks to the tremendous generosity of Jason Rudman, Rudd's Shaves, as you may know him. A very a small remainder of one of the original Barrister and Man Fougères, which was the Fougère Imperial, which I chose over the other one he offered. And he very kindly offered me a choice between one of the two original Fougères that the Barrister Man put out. And something about that Fougère Imperial was for the two cents, is what I went for. It is a little bit, for me, was a, was a kind of a richer, deeper scent. Um, actually, like what I think of as a bit of mushroom in the uh, in the notes. So I used the Barrister Man uh, Fougère Imperial. There's very little left. I just lathered in the tub because there's just kind of a half of a ring of death left in there. So a ring of almost death. Um, I went for the Gillette Ball and Tech in that way. And the, oh, Steve Bento Bloodwood with the Lapis Lazuli inset, which is the first brush that Steve Bento ever made. And he set the knot because of course, how would you know? He said it basically so it was just capturing the um, the plastic base. So it seems like it's too high, but in fact, it's really not. Brush is lovely, very easy to use. A little light. But beautiful piece of work. Just the uh, the inset is a striking contrast to the uh, to the wood. Skipping against the grain down there. This may be the last shave on this blade. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Definitely works better in a milder razor, obviously, than this, which is actually more efficient than I think people give it uh, give it credit for. Fougere Friday, that ended very, very well. Great shave. And 
what did I use for the aftershave there? I I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. Yesterday though was an interesting shave. Yesterday was drugstore day, and I've been wanting actually to try the Cremo Original, which is a big tube. It says on it 90 days supply. It is a a commercial brushless shaving cream that you apply with your hands. You take a little bit and you lather it up on a wet face. I'm going to be doing a more a full length video of it as well because it's kind of an interesting product. It's a commercial shaving product, brushless obviously. It creates a very, very slick layer of cream. But in terms of what we normally expect using the kind of soaps that we do in terms of protection and just sort of general density of the lather and post shave, a very, very different experience. So I used the Cremo Original. I went for the Williamson Sword Classic because that is also a drugstore item. I purchased that in a drugstore in Poznan that came in the blister pack with the um, five pack of Williamson Sword Blades. And then I made a bet. I hoped that somewhere out there, there are drugstores where some of you lucky bastards are able to buy Epsilon Blue Mediterranean as an aftershave in the store. Maybe not, but it is true that they do sell Floyd in drugstores, and the Floyd used to make Floyd Blue, and the Blue Mediterranean is kind of Floyd Blue, if not exactly that, very, very close. So it's kind of drugstore by association. All right, let's rinse off. Well, as always with these holy cow soaps, very, very nice post-shave slickness. You know, residual slickness is really good. Post-shave quality is very good. That blade is proving to be a bit of a struggle to shave with now. Getting to that kind of unpleasant, unpleasant roughness where normally speaking, if you're using a blade like that, the next thing you're gonna experience are gonna be those hesitations and skipping because the blade is just not cutting. And that's when you can get a really, good nick or cut that is a decent shave that has nothing to do with the soap or the brush or the razor head that is entirely due to the state of that razor blade but still irritation free scheme of things i know how you love when i say that not bad really not bad pretty close pretty comfortable um obviously with a much better blade there this would have been a fantastic shave but i don't have that now remember today is dirty the dirty dancing. So I would have used the night music um, soap, but I wanted to go for an actual, you know, and a better labeled soap. So I went for the holy cow. I'm going to use the night music. This is a bit of a polarizing scent. For some people, this has just kind of a unpleasant, a little bit kind of a poopy smell to it. But to me, what I get. is floral, kind of a strong, heady floral, a distinct scent of strawberry. Mm. Now for these aftershaves, I consider these to be more of a kind of a classic aftershave feel because there is a hint of alcohol. It is witch hazel based. It dries down. This is not meant to moisturize your skin. It's meant to calm and cool and soothe your skin. And in this case, at least for me, Ah, oh, smells fantastic. But I can definitely sense in that scent where people get kind of a unpleasant, slightly fetid or rotten or kind of a, yeah, just an unpleasant odor. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, really good. I would have used the soap, but obviously that's not a strict vetiver. And I want to use, anyway, I've already explained all that. All right, let's go through the products again for today. Not really review, just the last day of the lather games. I just want to say thank you to the organizers of the Lather Games. I know how much work this is to put on, how much work it is to keep up, how much work it's going to be to go through, even though we're using some automation to go through and score and then place people. You also have to read posts and rank how well people contributed on the basis of the quality of their posts. Anyway, job well done. Here is what remains of the Dark Vetiver Holy Cow. I know you're thinking, how do I know that that's what it is? You just have to trust me, my friends. That's what it is. I lather that with this gorgeous brush from Dogwood Handcrafts and Decoration Grooming. You can kind of see the base part of the wood there. I mean, just gorgeous brush. I have plans for, I think, at least one and probably two more of those handles. 
Let's not forget our dear friend, the Maggard V3 head with their Persona 74 blade. I don't think it's gonna go that much further, but I'll keep trying, we'll just see what happens. That's on the Icon handle. A very nice combination, by the way, in terms of weight and balance. Closing it out with the dirtiest of the dirty that I have, Night Music from Barrister and Man. Strong, slightly heady floral scent with a touch of strawberry. I think it's fantastic, some people don't like it. Tough luck. Anyway, that's it for today's last shave of the Lather Games. I hope you've been enjoying these shaves. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you want to leave a question or comment against this video or any previous video, please, of course, feel free to do that. I'll get back to those as quickly as I can. Thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.